Hello YouTube, we're going to talk about how to bear shaft tune today, or at least how I bear shaft tune my arrow setup. The first thing to bear shaft tune, you're going to have to get your bow and you're going to have to get it set up the way you like, so I mean set your brace height, uh, strike plate thickness is going to change, strength silencers are going to change, but uh, get your knocking point kind of ballpark to where you want it to be and get your brace height to where you want it to be. After that you're going to have to set up your bear shaft tuning arrow. This is an example of what that looks like, as you can see it's got the point installed but it has no fletchings installed. This particular arrow is an Easton Aftermath. It is a 400 spine arrow, and on the tip of that we have a 300 grain field point and a 50 grain brass insert. That totals 350 grains up front because I like a lot of front and center on my arrow. Now, when you start out, this arrow is gonna be a full length arrow shaft. That means it has not been trimmed at all. When you're doing your trimming, you're going to be trimming from this end. The reason for that is that you can pop the knock out, trim the arrow off, put the knock back in, and start shooting again to test it without having to constantly re-glue your inserts. That's especially important if you use epoxy for your uh, inserts. I use hot melt. I'm very careful with it. I know it's not recommended for carbon, but if you're careful and run it under water really quick after you uh, melt it in there, you can get away with it. Anyway. So what is bear shaft tuning, for those of you who don't know and are still confused? Bear shaft tuning is when you use an arrow without fletchings to diagnose what your uh, setup issues are on a particular bow and arrow combination. This is a really great way of getting things very well dialed in because the farther away you shoot the bear shaft, the more accurate it's going to be. It's going to be a lot more accurate at diagnosing small issues than, say, paper tuning, uh, broadhead tuning, or uh, walkback tuning. So. With that said, a couple things to watch out for with bear shaft tuning are do not shoot far away at first. If you shoot far away at first, then uh, there's a good chance that you're going to break some arrows because they're going to be flying nowhere near straight when they hit the target and tend to snap off partway down the shaft. All right, getting on, we're going to talk about what some of the results you see when you're bear shaft tuning are. This is our target. Uh, some people go by impact, some people go by straightness of the arrow. I go by both. So if you shoot sights and you aim for the center of your target there, you should hit the center of your target if your sights are set up correctly. If you're a right-handed shooter, as most people are, and your arrows are spinning out too stiff, your arrows are going to impact somewhere over on this side of the target to the left of where you want to hit. If your arrows are too weak, they should impact over here on the right of where you want to hit. Now, with the bear shaft, it is not going to fly like a normal fletch shaft would. A normal fletch shaft will stay more in the center because that fletching accounts for uh, the differences in arrow spine. Uh, with a bear shaft, it's going to be way all over the place and it's going to impact at funky angles. So if you imagine that you're a shooter down here and you shoot at 10 yards, the arrow is probably still going to be going mostly straight. Let me zoom out for you. It's going to be going mostly straight. As you get to 20 yards, assuming it's too weak, it's going to start getting off course, and at 30 yards, it's going to be even further off course. Now, when I shoot into a target, assuming that the arrow doesn't move when it hits the target, as uh, it does with a lot of bag targets, how much it's off is going to dictate to me how much arrow shaft I need to cut off. As you do it more and get a feel for it, you'll be able to decide whether you want to cut uh, an inch off, half an inch, uh, three-eighths. When I'm getting in close at the end, I only cut off an eighth of an inch at a time, and that makes enough difference that you can tell. So how to start out? You're going to first shoot at 10 yards and you're going to adjust your arrow and your bow combination until your arrow is hitting dead straight in the center of the target every single time. Now if your arrow is hitting high, that means that your knocking point is too low. If your arrow is hitting low, that means that your knocking point is too high. Because as your arrow is leaving the bow, if it's pointed down, it's going to continue downwards. If it's pointed up, it's going to continue upwards. Pretty simple. So once you're done your bear shaft tuning and you're happy with how that bear shaft flies, the next step is to flush an arrow like this. This is what I shoot. It is a 3x3 three three inch shield cut feather. Works great out of my setups because they're a lot of front and center so I don't need a whole lot of fletch for stabilizing my broadheads. Anyway, you're going to shoot a fletched arrow and you're going to make sure that it groups right along with your bear shafts and flies well. If it doesn't fly well, what's probably happening is that one of the fletches is contacting your riser and kicking the arrow out as it uh, clears the bow. So what you're going to have to do there is you're going to have to start turning it and try and figure out which fletch is hitting where on the bow. A good way of doing that is to take some powder, 
Uh, you could use something like cornstarch baby powder and uh, powder up those feathers, and that'll give you a good indication of uh, what's going to hit and what's not, because uh, you'll be able to see the difference in the powder. And the other thing you could try as well is something bigger like a flu flu. What that will do is, because they're higher feathers, they're probably going to contact more, and that'll let you know if there's a flesh clearance problem. So to sum things up, I hope that helped explain stuff for uh, you guys who've never tried bear chef tuning before and would like to. If you have any questions, then uh, go ahead and post in the comments.